add the vertex texture coordinates, a vector 2, a float, a rotator, a pie and a texture sample node. Do note that any new nodes will be approached in detail at a later time. The pi node outputs the mathematical constant pi. It is multiplied by a scalar factor defined by its multiplier property. Normally, it's used in trigonometry as it plays an important role in angles measured in radians. Since in math, pi radians equals 180 degrees. Let's proceed to connect the nodes. The vertex texture coordinates node outputs texture coordinates from vertex data, without any type of further calculations on tiling and offset. We're connecting its UV output into the rotator's UV input. Vector 2 XY into the rotator anchor. Let's set both its values to 0.5 to rotate the texture from its center and set it as a property. Float into pi multiplier, also setting it as a property with min, max of 0 and 2, so that we are able to manipulate pi's final value through its slider. Pi into the rotator time, so it will override the timer and assume pi's value. Otherwise, we'd have to use the time parameter and the rotator would perform its operation over time. Rotator out into the texture sample UV, so that it may receive UV coordinates that are manipulated by the rotator node. Finally, the texture samples RGBA into the albedo, then select the texture and compile. As you can see in both the texture sample preview and in the scene object, the texture can be rotated by 360 degrees, as we set a different value for the float node. 